Hello crazies and welcome to another book recommendation brought to you by Crazy C. Well I just want to get technical Crazy C 88 and this book recommendation would be on The Secrets of the Immortal Nicholas Vermeil The Alchemist by Michael Scott. The rating I'm going to give this is a thumbs up. It's it's great. Uh, total page count is 369 pages. Let me make certain. Yeah, 369 pages, so it's not that long. And the whole book is a span of two days. It covers two days. It covers May 31st and June 1st. It's Thursday and Friday. And it looks like it continues in the second one, The Magician, which I'm currently reading now. I'm already about that way. That much through. And the Magician does the same thing. It, except for this one, I think, gonna cover three days. So I went ahead and saw three different dates. So it covers basically three days. But. Does I think because uh, Nicholas Fumel, he only has basically a month to live, I think. Because it's basically a a cycle of the moon, which is basically a month. Now let's get to the the, the, the basis of the story. It basically follows that the one of the main characters, Nicholas Fumel. He's an alchemist. Basically, he can he uses the elements and makes potions and stuff, but it starts in San Francisco in modern times, and he's a not an alchemist, but he's a bookseller. So he's selling books, and that basically the story takes up is when he hired Josh Newman to work in the store, and then across from his store, his twin sister Sophie Newman. Works at a coffee shop. And them being twins is a big part of this book. Because, well, twins are supposed to be, I guess, very magical. And knowing mythology and, and any magic book, twins are kind of special. So that, that's interesting. And we do have magic, like I said, we have magic. This is a fantasy novel. You also have the characters. Um, no. This is fantasy. It's also very action packed because it kind of has to be action packed because it's a span of two days. So, I mean, with the span of two days, we really cannot pause a lot. We really have to just kind of keep the action fast paced, which it, it kind of is. There's a couple of times where they kind of just sit, sit around talking, but they still, it's still kind of interesting. You still want to read on and know why they're sitting at a table talking about this. And there's also various mystery. There's a lot of secrets in this book. And not all of them are answered. And I don't think the second one would have, have them all answered either, because I so far, there's a, there are four books out. I don't know how many books there's going to be, but I think that this is a series that I highly, highly recommend. Uh, let's get to the writing style. It has multiple point of views. It covers Nicholas Femmel's. I think, I think it, and it has his wife, Penella. Penelope Mel or Perry. 
Dr. John D, who is the main antagonist. We have the twins, Sophie and Joss. We have in their point of view. I think that's the only people that have, have a point of view. Dr. John D, Nicholas Fumel, Penella, Joss and Sophie. Now, pretty soon that those are the only people who have a, a point of view. But I, I like that. And it, it tries to do it in a chapter, but I think occasionally, in, occasionally within the chapter, it switches point of view. But you somewhat know when they're switching to... He leaves a, a gap. He leaves like a, a three space gap and kind of, we can see it changing, but I kind of don't like that because I'd rather have the whole chapter in one point of view. But a couple times a chapter was in two point of views. Like the first half was in Joss's and the second half was in John D's. And I, I kind of like, I, I, I like, I like multiple point of views, but I wish the authors would really give you a better heads up on that they are switching point of views. So like in some novels, it'd be like chapter three, Joss, I think. Well, actually this one would be chapter three, Sophie. But more so, I, I wish it would basically be chapter three and... It have underneath the chapter the character that the point of view is in. That's to me probably the best way to really do multiple point of views is write what that chapter is doing, who's going to be speaking in that chapter. To me, that's the best way to do it. I mean, there's other ways to do it. He, he did decent. So th that's, a, that's one of the bad parts. But once you get used to the uh, writing style, then we would be fine. I don't say an average reader, they would love the story and everything. Uh, uh, above average reader, they would want to do a lot of research. And I'm going to tell you why. Because this is a historical fantasy fiction. It, it's fantasy because we have magic, but historical because... Nicholas Femel, Penella Femel, Dr. John D. And then the second one, we have Niccolo Machiavelli. We have a lot of historical fiction in this novel that we are going to throw to an encyclopedia and we want to look up uh, more information about Nicholas Femel. Because he is a real life person and it's just a this is a fi fictional story of Nicholas Femel. And that's, it's the same Nicholas Femel and Harry Potter. Both Nicholas Femel are based off of the real life Nicholas Femel that was born in uh, 1330. So, definitely, it's, it's definitely a historical pact. And also, I, I totally enjoy the mythology in it. There's, literally, this author takes all the mythology so far that are uh, in the world Greek, Roman, Egyptian, Norse, any mythology that we know of that have go gods and goddesses are in this book. But they are not called gods and goddesses, they're called the elder race. So. And, and it makes you really want to read and find out. What's this. Underlying prophecy. Right, and what's. This all about. Like why are. Why is. John D after the twins, or really he's after Nicholas Femel, and like, why did he want this book that he holds? Like, what's so important about it, and 
what is the elder race involvement into it and most of the answers of uh, those answers will be answered in this book but there are more and and really we're actually still trying to figure out who's on what side and I think I like that too we're trying to figure out which which elder is a dark elder or which one is on the good side which one's the evil elder and which one's the good elder we're just trying to figure it out I thoroughly enjoyed it Highly, highly recommend it. It would be a nice summer reading. And that's, I think that's all I have to say. Besides, just go read it. I haven't said this in a while, so I'm going to say comment, rate, and subscribe. That's as long as you want. And I'm going to end this video right now. And we know what's coming. Keep on reading. And live and let live. Bye.